Hello, this is Troy Parker with Innovative Labor and Cleaning. This is part three of self-confidence. Let's dig in. Third, I know through the principle of auto-suggestion, any desire that I persistently hold in my mind will eventually seek expression through some practical means of attaining the object back of it. Therefore, I will devote 10 minutes daily to demanding of myself the development of self-confidence. Here again, we're talking about auto-suggestion, which is the ideals, what we're thinking and saying to ourselves, making sure we're picking things that we want to manifest because it's clearly saying, based on the law we mentioned before, the things that you constantly say to yourself, negative or positive, will manifest themselves over time. So we want to think of the person we want to be, that self-confident person. What does that person look like? So many times people will say, well, I want to be, you know, more self-confident more. And then you ask them, well, okay, what does that look like? What do you mean? What are the traits you really want to have? It could be, I want to be honest. I want to be able to stand up and articulate myself in an intelligent manner. I don't want to get ruffled by little challenges that come up. Well, then picture yourself acting that way for 10 minutes each day. Now, many people have said to me, well, golly, Troy, we're gonna do all this visualization and I don't feel like doing that. But you're already doing it. Every day when people are working, they're constantly having these little daydreams of events they think will happen and how they're gonna respond negatively. And most of the time, the events don't happen. And if they do, then they say to themselves, see, I have no luck at all. My thing is, why don't you concentrate on something positive you want to manifest see yourself as that type of person acting as that type of person would act like they always say you have to be the change you want to see and this literally is true so to be that change you have to see yourself acting in the way many times i'll hear some of my male employee talk about their mate and they'll say, oh, that woman, don't, she just don't never, she don't never do this. Or oh, she just won't never do that. And I always ask them, well, okay, what do you do? And I'll be like, well, I, I, don't, I don't do nothing. I don't do nothing. I ain't doing nothing for her. And I ask them, well, you have to be what it is you want to attract. You can't be one way and expect you're going to attract something that's totally opposite of you. And they'll just look at me. But over time, when they think about it, They'll say, hey, you know, that made sense after a while. Then you see them start, you know, getting off work, buying some flowers. The next time you talk to me, like, you know what? She cooked me dinner the other night. And, and you know what? We're talking better. The whole key is first you have to change yourself. Then everything around you will change. And how do you do that? First, by seeing yourself being the type of person you want to attract. I hope this helped. And as always, listen to this a couple times and please share. And remember, only you can make your life matter.